Attention! McCarthy Math Academy proudly presents the Math FSA Boot Camp Series. Hello everyone, I'm Miss McCarthy and I am so excited that you are here. are more than a test score. We don't want you stressing out about this test. We just want you to activate your greatness within. And you might be saying, But Miss McCarthy, listen, I know that math is your jam, but math and I, yeah, we're not really the best of friends. You may have struggled in the past, and you know what? Good. Struggle is necessary because struggle makes us stronger. If we go over something in these videos that you're like, hmm, that skill didn't quite click yet, I'm gonna send you to more videos to help you practice. Your teachers and I, we can expose you to all kinds of tools and strategies, but you have to choose to use them. You have to choose to own them. Imagine opening up that test and feeling so excited to throw down your best. This can be your reality. So now is the time that you need to activate the person you were born to be and let's do this. Are you ready to throw 100% focus, hustle, and heart into this right now? That's what I'm talking about, yes! Okay, let's go ahead and jump on into today's episode of the Math FSA Bootcamp Series. And <laughs> I almost forgot to say, uh, let me teach ya. Hey third grade, welcome to the Math FSA Boot Camp Series. I'm honestly so excited that you guys are here today. At this time, I'd like for you to go ahead and pause the video. You're gonna complete the worksheet number one and number two on your own. And if you're thinking, Ms. McCarthy, I don't have a worksheet. Well, somewhere around this video is a link for you to be able to download and print the worksheets to so this episode and all of the episodes that will launch on the Math FSA Boot Camp Series, okay? So go ahead, pause the video, give it your best shot, make sure you mark up your text, make sure you throw down your best, and I'll see you in a second. Welcome back. All right, let's go ahead and see how you did. So today's episode is all about patterns. And we have two different types of questions. Looking at question number one, I'm looking at the answers and I see that there's four answer choices, meaning that this is probably a what kind of question? Yeah, it's a multiple choice question. There should be one correct answer here. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and read this just to understand what's going on, and then I'll take it a step further and mark up my text, okay? So it says, which statement correctly describes how to use the multiplication table uh -uh, to find multiples of four? So somehow I need to use this multiplication table to help me with the question, right? That's the gist. Now let me slow down and annotate it. Let me mark up my text. Which statement, that's these down here, these are the statements, which one of those correctly describes how to use the multiplication table. Where's the multiplication table? Yeah, right over here, it tells you. A multiplication table is shown. <laughs> to find the multiples of four. Okay, so what are multiples of four? Well, it's kind of like in the multiplication mashup. It's when you count by. Multiples me are like skip counting. So the multiples of four would be like four plus four is eight plus four is 12 plus four is 16 plus four is 17, 18, 19, 20 plus four is 21, 22, 23, 24. So which of these helps us find those on the multiplication table? So I'm looking for four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, just like the multiplication mashup that I will make sure to link in this video too. And I'm seeing right here, look. Four, eight, 12, 16, 20, in this row right there. And do you see it somewhere else? 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, and it keeps going. Yeah, I do right here too. Ooh. So this column and this row represent where the multiples of four can be found, okay? So 
which statement correctly describes how to use the multiplication table to find them. We just said the rows or the columns that have the four. Let's read A. Find all the numbers in the same row or column as the shaded four. The shaded four, the same row or column as the shaded four. Well, here's a four that looks shaded. This is the row and those are the multiples of four, so that makes sense. And here's the column with a shaded four and there's where all the multiples of four are, so that makes sense. So should I just go ahead and mark A? No, what I'm gonna do is put a question mark right there. I'm gonna keep that one. The question mark means I think that's right, but let me go through and see if I can eliminate the others before I officially select A, because A looks real good, not gonna lie. Find all the shaded numbers that meet at an unshaded four. So these are the shaded fours I see unshaded fours like randomly throughout, but those aren't the multiples of four, so let's go ahead and eliminate that one. Find all the numbers that end with four. 14 ends in four, but it's not a multiple of four, so what can we do with C? Eliminate. Remember that when we're eliminating, we put it at the end, far away from the actual bubble because we don't want to accidentally get a mark inside there, especially when we're trying to mark it wrong because the computer will say, oh, you meant to pick that one. And no, we didn't. We just spent so much time eliminating that. So don't put it on the bubble, put it to the side. D, find all the numbers that start with four. Okay, like 42. 42 actually is not a multiple of four. So it's not finding all the numbers that start with four either. Because there's other numbers like eight. Eight doesn't start with four and it's a multiple. 12 doesn't start with four and it's a multiple of four. You know, so we can go ahead and eliminate that. So now that we've gone through each one, what is our final answer? A, right? Bubble it in. Don't spend your whole life doing it. Just make it a nice dark bubble. Not sloppy, but nice. All right, moving on to number two. Number two, let's take care of the question type first. You know, this is one of my favorites. We've got some rows, we've got some columns. We are matching them. So this is a matching item question. I love these. Match each statement, those are down here, to determine, what does determine mean? To find out if it describes an even or an odd solution. Okay, what do I know about even? Even numbers end in zero, two, four, six, or eight in the ones place, right? And what are some odd numbers? One, three, five, seven, and nine in the ones place. So let's take a look at this row and determine if this statement would give us an even or odd solution. Solution, oh, let's talk about solution. Solution just means answer. So it says, the first row says, the sum, what are we doing if we're finding the sum? We are adding the sum of two odd numbers is what? Well, let's pick some odd numbers and add them together. So let's pick three and five as an example. Three plus five equals what? Eight. Is eight even or odd? Even, so we can mark it even. If you were to do a different one like seven and nine, seven plus nine is 16. 16 is even, that works. Let's look at the next row. The sum, which means that we're doing what? Adding the sum of an odd number and an even number. So we gotta pick one of each. I'm gonna do that down here. So an odd number would be, let's make it easy for ourselves. Let's pick three for odd. And an even number would be two. Three plus two is what? Five. Is five odd or even? It's odd, so we're going to mark D, odd, because it's in the odd column. I'm just gonna point to where my work is. All right, next row. The product, what does product mean that we need to do? Multiply the product of 
two even numbers. So let me get two even numbers. Don't make this hard on yourself. Let's do two times four. Okay, two times four would be, do you know I know my twos? Two, four, six, eight, eight. Or two groups with four in each would give us eight. And eight, is that odd or even? It is even. So which one are we going to mark, E or F? E, because it's even. And the last one, I like these, these are fun. The product, which means we're doing what? Multiplying the product of an even number and an odd number. So now we need an even number. Let's pick, pick six, we're multiplying it by five. Let's try that. Six times five. So, hey sixes, I just met ya. You're kinda crazy. Six, 12, and 18. 24 and 30, 30, and that's the multiplication mashup that I'm singing to quickly get those products. 30 ends in a zero in the ones place. So is it odd or even? It is zoop, even. So am I picking G or H? G. When you see problems like this, just create your own equation with it and see what answer you get. And you match it up. It's pretty simple. Third grade, before you guys go, I wanna make sure that I'm sending you some, throwing some more practice your way. First, I want you to check out McCarthy Math 155. Unit five in third grade has 10 videos on patterns. Check it out. That's 10 videos, 10 days of practice with super fun, high energy, jam-packed lessons. Get your free trial for seven days to try it out. And then when you're ready, grab yourself a membership. Teachers, if you become a member, you can actually share the videos with your students. I show you how to do that in the tutorial tab. Second of all, I'm going to go ahead and link the how to pass the math FSA video that goes along with this lesson. Now the how to pass the math FSA series was a series that I created a few years ago when the FSA was a computer based test. It's not anymore. That's why I built the math FSA boot camp to mimic the paper based test that it now is. But check it out. Still great questions. Great practice. Check it out. I was singing the multiplication mashup in this video. So of course I'm going to link that one. And I also encourage you to stay in the loop with me by following me on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube at McCarthy Math Academy. While you're here on YouTube, go ahead and smash that like button and subscribe. That way you're the first to know when I drop a new video. And finally, before you go, I just want you to know that you were created for a purpose. That's right. You students are the ones that we have been waiting for. So find your light. Find it is what you're good at, what you can give back to the world and shine it bright. Watch out world because we've got a whole new generation of world changers ready to step it up and make this world a better place. When you have the choice and you always have the choice, choose kindness. And I will see you all on the next video.